Hi guys, Yuri from AndroidCircuit.com. Just going to do a very quick review on Firefox 4 Beta 1 uh, Mobile that was just released. Uh, this is the first build of Firefox for Android, and it is based off of Phoenix. Uh, that was a platform that Mozilla had been working on originally. Now, uh, I want to say that I'm fairly impressed with this application, given that it's its first build. Um, let's hop right into it, and I'll show you a few features here that are pretty cool. Um, when you first launch the application, you have the ability to sync up with your browser. Uh, you can customize uh, add-ons for this mobile browser, and you can also browse the web. So let's do a quick uh, review of the browsing and how the UI is laid out. This is your basic start page. And from what I see here is you're going to have your tabs from last time and your add-ons that you have currently installed. I have a few pages up from my earlier session, so let's take a look at AndroidCircuit.com. You just hit the uh, tab and it takes you directly to the page. The scrolling is very smooth, no problems at all. Uh, I'm really enjoying uh, the feel of the browser. Uh, pinch zoom works just like, like it should. Uh, if you actually slide over to the right, there's a, a cool option where you can bookmark the page, uh, edit the bookmark, such as the heading name, uh, the address, and also the tags. You um, also are able to navigate through the page by hitting back or forward. Now, something that's a little different from the regular Android browser is that when you hit menu, it will give you two options uh, and a little bit of information. For example, for this site, it says uh, this website does not supply identity information and it's not encrypted. Uh, so some sites may display this information, some might not. Uh, what you can do is search inside the page by hitting find it. Basically, like control F. You can also share the page, and this will let you either email it, uh, submit it to Twitter, uh, import it into Google Reader, or upload it to Facebook. Um, this is a pretty neat social integration tool. And uh, that's really about it. Uh, if you do want to open up another page, you just simply enter the address or the uh, tags. Uh, for example, we can go to Engadget.com. It's going to take us to their mobile site. And uh, it's a uh, fairly smooth play. I, I, I really like it. It's um, not a bad platform at all. I'm excited to use it more and really see uh, what type of features it will have in the future. Um, you should download it. Uh, you can find the download instructions in the review article on our website. And let us know how you like it or if there's any bugs or anything that uh, you find that Mozilla should work on. Thank you very much. And again, this is Yuri from AndroidCircuit.com. Uh, please visit our website at AndroidCircuit.com for your latest Android news, reviews, and rumors. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook if you search Android Circuit or on Twitter. Thank you.